There's a fumble. Ball knocked loose. And I believe it is recovered by Baylor. The Bears have got it. Look at Jackie Sherrill over there. That's a good-looking guy. Jackie Sherrill's talking to Pavlis. He's saying, you're all right, first of all. Second of all, he's saying, you've got to pick that up. He's his quarterback of the future. He's his passing quarterback. Now, Pavlis has got to pick. This is one of the first times that Baylor has really blitzed. And you can see the shot that Pavlis took in the back. It looked as if he almost threw that ball, but I think it was the impetus of the shock in the back. Well, that was Reggie Howard, and that's a 242-pound uh, impetus. That's a lot of impetus. <laughs> Four minutes, 29 seconds remaining in this one. Wide open downfield is Darnell Chase, and the ball took too long to get to him. Intercepted by Kip Corrington. And Corrington plays this ball exactly the way you're supposed to play it. Corrington is the center fielder. He's standing way in the back to your right of your screen. He watches, he watches the eyes of Gable. Gable throws the ball up, and look at the trajectory of the ball. It's high. It's not a bullet. Corrington has plenty of time to come across. Plays just an excellent play. Really, you called it. He was wide open before the throw. Corrington must have covered 25 yards on the play to come over and intercept that ball. Darnell Chase had at least 15 yards on everybody, but had to wait for the ball to get to him. Here comes Larry Horton. Across the 20, out near the 22. Gary Hayes on the tackle. I'll tell you, all we keep on saying is these are freshmen, 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 and they are freshmen. Now, we'd like to remind our viewers, in just a very few moments, Dave and I will be selecting the Coors player of the game. Who would be your pick? Well, you want a few choices? How about Darren Lewis? Darren Lewis wouldn't be a bad choice at all. Freshman with, what, 26 carries, 25 carries, over 100 yards. Here comes Horton. Gets around the corner and has bounced out at the 32-yard line. A gain of nine, Mike Welch and Scott Works. You know, Dave, you talk about all the freshmen we have seen in this ball game. The Southwest Conference, in general, very rich in freshmen, and there's a reason for that. We talked about all the high school programs here in the state of Texas. When you've got eight schools in the state of Texas virtually recruiting the same players, that really starts diluting that crop quite a bit. And then you've got Nebraska and Oklahoma trying to get to these Texan youngsters. Oh, boy. Well, you, you know the number one team in the nation, according to the newspapers, is Plano, Texas, which is outside yes. of Dallas. And they have several candidates in that top 25 high school teams. And that's indicative of the players that they get every year. This Baylor team has produced more running backs in the National Football League over the last six or seven years. And you can oh, believe man. they have more active running backs than any other university. Well, how about Dennis Gentry of the Bears, Walter Abercrombie, Frank Pollard of the Steelers, Anderson and Allen Rice of the Vikings, Broderick Sargent, Darren McAdoo of the St. Louis Cardinals, and the list goes on and on. Absolutely. And A&M has had the same quality backs. They're both great programs, and they're putting out a lot of quality players. And it, you can see there's some great players out there. I know we'll be hearing about Lewis Cheek in a few years. Pitch to the near side. It's Horton again, and again he gets around the corner and is taken out of bounds. A gain of six. I'm a little surprised that A&M is running wide because every time they go out of bounds, the clock stops. Let's take a look at our Apple scoreboard. It's Wyoming over Houston now, 14 to 6. That game still early. Second quarter action. Texas Tech leading Rice, 17 to 7. No surprise in Lubbock. That's absolutely right. How about that one? Notre Dame is stretched their lead, has stretched their lead against Airport. Air Force, 21 to 7 in the third quarter. That's Horton busting out across the 45 near the 46. Brian Hand. The backup free safety in on the tackle. Well, Hort could be another choice. He's had eight, eight uh, carries, and he's got 40 yards. He's averaging five yards a carry. How about uh, Bucky Richardson for player of the game? He may be one. He came in here. This is his first start. He's got 52 yards on 12 carries, but he's really conducted a great pitch play and hand that ball off to Darren Lewis a bunch of times.
First and ten, the ball at the 46-yard line. Clock running, 2:21. Here goes Horton again through the right side. Keith Rose, the senior defensive end from Plano High School. Dave, you talked about that program. Well, they, that's, that's, like a, uh, that's like a farm club. Oh, boy, they're, they're right up there every year. When we began, a sellout crowd here in Waco, 48,500. Well, a lot of them didn't go home disappointed because only 90 miles away, they sold 10 to 15,000 tickets, and, and they've had a day today. Reverse to Rod Harris. He stays in bounds and is tackled at the 37-yard line of Baylor. Norris Blunt and Ray Crockett on the tackle. Well, we got to pick that player of the game, don't we? Well, indeed we do, and we are very pleased to announce that our Coors player of the game today is Lewis Cheek from Texas A&M. I like to see an offensive lineman get it. Just a lineman. I think that's great. There he is. He, see, he just probably heard about it. Jackie went over and told him. Look at that. Nice big <laughs> smile. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> now he's an agricultural economics major at A&M. Likeable guy. His fourth year as a starter for Jackie Sherrill. Pitch comes near side. Johnson. My Jackie Sherrill looking around his bench trying to find anybody in a uniform. Get in there and play, son. It's your chance right now. Well, it didn't go quite like we thought it would, but uh, really we knew it would be a top notch game. We know that one of these two teams has a great shot to go to the Cotton Bowl. The middle goes Melvin Collins, the backup junior fullback, and he is knocked off his feet by John Godfrey. Hello! 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 Hello. Well, we're glad to see you, too. <laughs> oh, there's going to be some partying in College Station tonight. The final seconds tick down. Well, the Battle of the Brazos River is won by that man, Jackie Sherrill. Now we said early today it is one of the finest rivalries in all of college football. The fans don't like each other. The cities don't much care for one another. And these football teams definitely do not like each other. Well, but they played a great game today. Very clean game. And it's indicative of two quality coaches. And you can see them right there. Make no mistake, the Bears of Baylor will be back. And so will we in just a moment. Uh, what's wrong? The greatest contribution to the human race, and it rides like a rock. Uh, what you need are Monroe gas masks.